Teller is part of the Penn and Teller duo uh, that's playing at the Rio right now. I can recommend the show, it's excellent. And he has 32 years in magic that he's going to summarize in just a few minutes. <laughs> it should also be pointed out he's not dressed as well as the others. <laughs> is a new little burst 
and it's happening too fast for you to think, oh, he's shifting methods. So that's, uh, that's just an example of repetition. And that's something I would think would interest you guys, because you know that's a, that's a phenomenon that we do in everyday life. We get deceived because we, we take for granted that a repetition is a real repetition, but it's sometimes not. That's one of my two little points. My second little point is this. Uh, Randy just actually talked about this. I mean, uh, for, for, sorry, sorry. Jeez, I was awfully clumsy. Um, you know, what Randy talked about, oh, ah, jeez, let's go. Uh, what Randy talked about was, was taking, you know, was taking for granted some movement like that. Well, of course, that was a repetition done for you intentionally. This repetition, um, I, I put the coin in the hand, now you're going, is it really in the hand? Oh, I'm so sorry, I lost track of that. So now you've become accustomed to the idea that that's what it looks like getting put into that hand. Um, now we go boom, pretend that it's gone, and the person's still hidden over here. Um, what I want to say is this. If you as a human being watch other people to, find, to, to see if you could define their intentions, if you're walking along the street, you look at the way people are moving, and you automatically navigate by, the, by, by seeing what you think are their intentions. Now, in this case, before the show, I just put these two things on my right-hand side. In real life, if you were going to pick up this, this ball, you'd pick it up with the hand that it's going to disappear in. But I need to pick it up with this hand so that I can do that fake transfer. So I make it inconvenient to reach the table. Reach over to the table. Well, it's a little inconvenient to get it there. So reach over to the table. And now I've got an excuse for transferring it, provided I bring up the wand. Uh, the wand gives me a motive for reaching over to the table. I'm not making that quite clear, am I, guys? It's, no, I'll, I'll just say it one more time. You are, def you, you are seeing my intention. My intention is to get that wand. That's why I have to transfer the coin, the, uh, the, uh, the ball. So the intention there is what's deceiving you, not the other one. Uh, so that's, my, that's my whole point, that in magic, one of the best ways to conceal secret stuff is to make the intention so overpowering that people really follow that instead of looking at the sleight of hand. Thank you.